So I crash landed the helicopter and saved the queen. And the people cheered and sang with joy. And that's when I finally made the switch from uh -huh. drinking cold water uh -huh. to drinking room temperature water. Oh, yeah, I see. that makes sense. What's going on here? Why are you sitting around talking when we could be out getting free candy? <laughs> Ginger, we're adults. If we want candy, we can just go buy some. Oh, so you're just coming with me while I trick or treat. I don't think you understand. Trick or treating isn't on our schedule tonight. What? But wait, are you saying? Don't touch it. <gasps> Sorry. Listen, it's cold, it's dark, Hank still hasn't returned my scuba diver costume. Oh, that was a costume. No wonder the tag on it said, do not wear in water. The point is, we're not really doing Halloween this year, Ginger. Not doing candy. Ginger, I'm a grown-up now. I drink room temperature water. I can't be out running around with children in costumes. You'll be sorry you did take me trick or treating, and you'll be sorry you said such mean things about me. Um, we didn't say any mean things about you, Ginger. Well, I'm sure you thought them. Yeah, he's got us there. All right, who's ready for this year's Scarathon TV Marathon? Woohoo! Me. Are about to enter a place beyond a place beyond another place some things are the same here but some are different are ghosts real do aliens exist what is the tooth fairy doing with all those teeth everything isn't black and white but this show is you've just crossed over into the sundown center <laughs> Boring! Did you seriously pick an old black and white show for this year's Scarathon? Why does it matter if it's in black and white? It's boring! This is Halloween! The Scarathon should be scary! Au contraire, mon scare. Black and white can be very scary, especially if I use this. The Total TV Immersion app. It makes it feel like you're in the show. It'll have you shaking in your Halloween boots. Ooh, I'm so scared. You will be. Whoa. Whoa. Is wow. this real? This is awesome. It's just like we're in the Sundown Sector. Maybe we are. Total immersion. Today's story is about a monster. Not a monster that lurks in the dark. Not a monster with fangs or claws. This monster is an adorable little boy. Ah! All right, listen up. Because I'm nice, I'm going to give you one more chance. You can either come trick-or-treating with me now, or you can suffer the consequences. Ginger, this is getting annoying. How many times do we have to tell you no? No, 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 no. <gasps> what just happened? Uh, where did Ben go? Now, do you want me to turn you into an app? Or do you want to do exactly what I say? Break, Ginger. 
We're exhausted from following all of your fun orders. Turn the TV off, Hank! Mm. I can't. The Halloween episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy's about to start. Mm. I mean, I can't do that. The Halloween episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy's about to start. Turn it off now, Hank, or I'll send you into my phone like I did to Ben! Mm. I can't do it! This is your last warning! I can't! What? I just can't! Please don't punish me! I physically can't turn off the TV if Bongo and McGillicuddy is on! <laughs> Great idea, uh, right, Angela? Angela, what are you doing? I am finished doing what Ginger tells us to do. Excuse me? You heard me! I said I'm not going to listen to you anymore. You're just a little brat who gets mad when he doesn't get his way, and I have had enough! Ah. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> You have to stop, Ginger. You can't just push people around and intimidate them into doing what you want. That's funny, because I actually can't do that! Ginger, Ginger, listen, I, I, I want to say that I am really sorry for the whole running and chasing and, and yelling thing. I actually like following your orders. I, j j just give me another one and I'll do it right away. Sorry, Tom. It's too late. You had your chance! Ginger, please! <laughs> oh, Tom! Tom! Uh, oh, hey, Tom. What is this? Wait, are, are we in... Yeah, we're inside Ginger's phone. And by the looks of it, we're trapped. Things were pretty bad in here for a while. But then the couch and the TV just appeared out of nowhere. It was awesome. Speak for yourself. When the couch appeared, it landed on me. How did that happen? What's that sound? What sound? <gasps> Bed to your left! I meant move to your left. Are you sure we can't escape? There has to be some way out of here. I don't even see any doors or walls. It's like we're in a totally different plane of existence or something. Well, at least we're not just sitting around the garage. We keep saying we need to get out more, and we finally did. I'm proud of us. You know, this same thing happened on an episode of the Sundown Sector. I guess we'll just have to do what those characters did. Witches. I mean, not like witches, but witches. Give up. Give up? You mean just stop trying to escape? Yep, there's no way out, so might as well get comfortable. Are you crazy? There is no way I'm giving up that easily. Hey, Ginger, you hear me out there? You're not gonna get away with this. We'll escape somehow, and when we do, you'll win. What is that? What is that? Wait, wait, wait. was terrifying. I told you old things can be good and scary. You guys don't think something like that is really possible, right? I mean, I, I know it's just a show, but you don't think that... Ah! Hey guys, I'm back! Ah! And I got tons of candy! Ah! What's wrong with you guys? 
Nothing. Yeah, nothing's wrong. Everything is great. Just perfect. Okay, if you say so. Hey, the Sundown Sector. I remember this show. I used to watch this with my parents. They said I reminded them of some character on there. Uh, I don't remember who, though. Isn't that weird? I said, isn't that weird? <laughs> I'd say our first annual indoor fun day was a big success. It sure was. I'm glad the landlord sprayed all those chemicals on the lawn so we could go outside. Well, look at this. Angela even set up an arts and crafts table. I made friendship bracelets. See, the different threads represent, um, different colors of friendship. Angela, I don't ever exaggerate, but these are Mind-blowing. Oh, well, do you want one? Do I? Ha! I mean, uh, I, you know, if you happen to have a, a next one, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll take it off your hands. Awesome. There. Now we have matching friendship bracelets so everyone will know we're friends. But remember, you can't remove it. You have to let the bracelet fall off on its own. What happens if I take it off? I think technically that means we wouldn't be friends anymore. Anyways, I've got to get home. Hey, do you think the lawn is safe yet? Hmm, maybe if you hold your breath? <gasps> okay, thanks, bye! <laughs> stop breathing, stop breathing! I'll never take you off. <laughs> oh! 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 Ginger! Man, you weren't even trying to dodge me. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Ginger, Ooh. slow down or I won't be able to catch you. That's the point. I'm the most excellent player of every indoor game there is. From indoor tag to indoor catch. <laughs> tag, you're in. No fair. I was giving a speech that doesn't count. Indoor fun day will now conclude with a traditional game of hide and seek. Though it's not exactly a tradition since it's the first indoor fun day, but I'll allow it. Gotta start somewhere, right? You guys are going down. Now, I've developed a completely fair method to decide who's it. All we need is a spoon, fishing line, a number of hooks. Last one to touch his nose is it! There! Oh. Last one what? Tom's it! Everybody scatter! Hold on, I wasn't ready. Oh, all right. See ya! We'd want to be ya! Ah, oh, oh. <laughs> Get out of here! One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Albuquerque. Hmm. Ben, always hiding by your work. Oh, huh, all right. If I was Hank, where would I be? Well, these cushions look suspicious. Hank, I'm on to you. Hmm. So no one's decided to hide in the most obvious places. Well, I like a challenge. All right, guys. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Uh-oh. Uh this is not good. Uh, guys, time out real quick, okay? I, I need some help here. Hey! I'm stuck! Oh, come on, Tom. I'm not gonna fall for the oldest trick in the book. I know this seems like the oldest trick in the book, but my arm is actually stuck in the couch. Do you really need help? Or when you said this wasn't a trick, was that a trick? No, it's not a trick. Okay, but what about a double trick? And it's not a double trick that I said it wasn't a trick. All right, I'm coming out to help, but this doesn't count as you finding me. Uh-oh. Did you say, uh-oh? I'm stuck in the bathroom. Just like the last time I was stuck in the bathroom, remember that? Hey, can you come in and get me? No, Hank, I'm stuck too, remember? Ben! 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 Where are you? Ben! Ha, no, this is the perfect place. Ben! Fine. Whoa. Hey, that was you. Good hiding. Yes. Fortunately, you rarely give things a closer look. Well, maybe not so fortunately, because me and Hank are both stuck. Hank, where were you even planning on hiding in there? Not sure, but hide and seek makes me nervous. And when I'm nervous, I have to go. <sighs> the 
This is really jammed. I don't know how you pull the doorknob off so easily. It's like I suddenly had super strength. Oh, stand back. I'm gonna try something. Whoa! Oh. Never mind. Hmm. Some internal piece must have worn down. No worry, I'll just get a spare doorknob from Spare Doorknob Storage. Let's see, the polished elegance, hmm, the emerald turner. Oh, oh, there we go, a good old bathroom spare. Wait, don't let that door close. Uh-oh. Tom, why isn't there a handle on the inside of the storage room? I took it off. And why did you take it off? Because I trapped that thing in there that one time. What thing? Don't worry, it probably went away. Uh, but yeah, you can't open the storage from the inside. Why you... didn't you tell me that before I got locked inside here? Okay, well, nobody panic. Ginger's still hiding somewhere around here. He can help us. Ginger? Ginger? Ginger! Ginger! Sounds like Tom found everyone else, but they still can't find me. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. So Ginger's not answering and struggling. <sighs> Just gets the friendship bracelet more stuck. Maybe Hank is having more luck than I am. Tom, my head is stuck in the sink. <laughs> I mean, maybe Ben is having more luck than I am. I call this new invention the emergency door opener 5,000. Wait, 9,000, no, that's too much. 5,000 is better. Anyway, my troubles are about to be... <laughs> oh. You don't need to eat that pizza. You don't need to eat that pizza. <laughs> Eat that pizza, eat that pizza, eat that pizza, eat the pizza, eat the pizza! Whoa! Uh, Tom, what are you doing? Uh, just, uh, uh, uh cleaning the table. I mean, it sure was messy. <laughs> Tables. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't get me started on that. Man, Angela. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> but wait, 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 wait. You went home a while ago, so how are you back here? Oh, <gasps> Angela, you're floating. Yeah, do you like it? Oh, the chemicals on the lawn turned you into a ghost. Or a superhero. Wait, are you a ghost or a superhero? Oh, neither, actually. I'm a hallucination. Your brain created me to deal with the loneliness of being stuck. So, you're not the real Angela? If I were the real Angela, would I say this? My favorite things in the world are Tom, 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 singing and dancing, and Tom, in that order. Wow, you are a really cool hallucination. So, you're really stuck, huh? Look, it's a friendship bracelet, all right? It's caught on a spring, and I don't know what to do. Because on one hand, I don't want to be stuck here forever, but if I cut it, that means we aren't friends anymore. But how good a friend are you if you can't even answer my calls? Or help Ben and Hank? Not a very good friend. A friendship bracelet is just a bunch of string. If it keeps you from helping friends who need you, then you should cut it. <sighs> Wait. How do you know I'm making the right decision, huh? I mean, you're just a hallucination. I know, but I'm your hallucination. Oh, hallucinangela, come back. His name is Ginger. Ba -ba -da -da -ba -na 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 -na. Like an invisible ninja. Okay, my brain made up that hallucination, and my brain has never led me astray before. Right brain, right. Left brain, wrong. Or maybe I don't need to rush things. Maybe if I just wait long enough, the friendship bracelet will just come off on its own. Huh? Tom, help! My head is caught in the sink! I can't turn the water off! Oh, Hank, why did you even turn the water on? I was thirsty! Sorry, the sink is filling faster than I can drink the water. Tom, get me out of here so we can get Hank out of there! All right, guys, hang in there. I'm on my way. <sighs> Tom.
carry the 10 to the 12th power. And this proves that this is 100% Tom's fault. What did you just say? Never mind. Take this and go free Hank. Yeah, right. I'm here, buddy. Thanks, Tom. Ooh. What were you thinking? Can I explain later? This water is going right through me. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Tom, why didn't you answer your phone? I called, I texted, I even sent you an email. Hmm? Oh, okay, that explains it. You took off my friendship bracelet. Angela, I had to. We were playing hide and seek and the bracelet uh, it, it got uh, stuck on a spring in the couch. Then Hank got trapped in the bathroom. And I got trapped in the storage room. Don't worry, Tom. I knew something like this might happen. So I made an extra. Well, that's great, that's really, oh. Pink. Helping friends is way more important than a bunch of string. You made the right decision, Tom. I am not sure about that. What? Uh, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever happened to Ginger? Hmm. Huh? I guess the real problem with hide-and-seek is when you're as good at it as I am, the game can get pretty boring. <laughs> I'll give him another hour. Or two. <laughs> Gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the greatest video game the world has ever known. Safe Driving 2, No Right Turn on Red. You're all going down. No chance, Tiny Pants. I'm going to use turn signals and hand signals just to be safe. If someone cuts me off in traffic, I am going to stay calm and give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it's an emergency. Buckle up and start your engines. The race begins in three. Two, one. Huh? Oh, oh, come on. No. Huh. Why is it all dark when my eyes aren't closed? This is a new experience for me and I don't like it. All right, nobody panic. Ben, what is going on? Hmm. Judging from the sudden loss of power, I'd say the power went out. Everybody panic! Oh. Oh. Wait, we plugged in our phones and our computers hours ago. We can use those to entertain ourselves until the power comes back on. <laughs> They're all dead! Yeah. What? Ben, what's the status of my lava lamp? Also dead. Aww. And all because someone thought that their lava lamp was more important! <sighs> it would have been so groovy. <laughs> ah. Boring things were after the power went out last night? Seriously, that was the longest 27 minutes of my life. I actually had a chance to think, and I did not like it. You're all just lucky I was able to keep my cool. Without your precious phones, you were all like, Oh, no, what am I going to do? <laughs> Tom, that was you. Yeah, that's literally like all you said until the power came back on. The point is, last night showed that we've become too dependent on technology. Like, when's the last time someone actually checked our mailbox? Oh, I checked it right before my birthday and right after my birthday. Yeah, I don't live here. I get all my mail online. Really? Well, then who is all that for? Okay, no sudden movement. Everybody stand back. I am approaching the mailbox. This is all junk mail. It's not all junk. Here's a letter addressed to Tom and Ben Enterprises from Unpopular Science Magazine. <gasps> Whoa, Ooh. what is it? That's been the most popular tech magazine since people read magazines. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let me see. Dear entrepreneur, hmm, we blah, 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 blah. So therefore, Unpopular Science would like to honor your contributions to the tech world by inviting you to visit our headquarters on Floppy Disk Island. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Huh? They only sent one ticket. Ooh, wow. 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 Ooh
now. Whoa. I don't want to tell you how to run your business, but uh, I think huh? you should send some sort of a celebrity to represent huh? you. Or someone young and cool. No way, I'm the face of the company. Yeah, well, I'm the brains. Oh, I have a face and a brain. So, what are we gonna do? What if we all make a bet? I made my bed this morning. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Not a bed, Hank. A bet. Ooh, what kind of bet? Based on how we acted last night during the blackout, it seems safe to say we're all addicted to technology, right? Uh-huh. Not me. Ooh, high score. I'm sorry, what? I was texting. So, I propose the following contest. Whoever can go the longest without using any cell phone or computer or any TV of any kind will win the ticket to Floppy Disk Island. Whoop, I did. Me too. Then I'm in too because you have to include me or it's not fair. Prepare to feel the sting of a calculated competitive routing. <laughs> that means I'm in too. All right, cough them up. I know, I know. Come on, all of them. Fine. Is that it? Yes. No. Let the contest begin. Well, one thing's for sure. If I want to win, I need to stay away from this place as much as possible. Yeah, let's get out of here. Too much temptation. Oh, Hank. Huh? Is it today the season premiere of Crime and Punishment DMV? Oh, yeah, that's right. What? I'm out. <laughs> hey, Hank, just like that, you're out? Yeah. The season finale was a cliffhanger where Hillbilly Jack got busted cutting in line. I think he was framed, but I won't know for sure until I watch it. Ah, poor Hank. Some people just can't live without technology. <sighs> I can't believe it's only been 17 minutes without technology. How would I know? How long has it been? I don't have my smartwatch! I miss music. I miss making it and listening to it and dancing to it like no one's watching. I miss online candy shopping and the free instant delivery. Tom. Tom. Hmm? Yeah? What's going on? How are you holding up? Huh? Oh, the contest. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I can do this. People survive for thousands of years without electronics. How? What do they do? Um, they farm! We can farm! Farm with me, Ginger! Farm with me! Okay! Like this? <laughs> We're doing it! We're farming! Yes! I can hear it growing! Now we must dance, young Ginger. Dance so the rain will come and water our crops! <laughs> Angela, whoa. Are you okay? Shh, listen. Ba -ba -ba. Can you hear that? Oh, it's so uh... beautiful. <laughs> huh? Uh, don't you think it's time that you quit the contest? Zip it, Tom. Oh, you made him fly away. Come back, sweet maker of music. Hey, Ginger, it says here the online candy store is having a two-for-one sale. <gasps> Free instant delivery of every candy imaginable. Chocolate Krusties, never-ending Nom Noms, Jelly Jim Jams, Clyde's Original Rock Candies. <gasps> Even gummy goobers? Uh-huh. Extra sour. <laughs> hey, give that back! <laughs> Poor kid doesn't know what to do without technology. <clears throat> uh, me? I'm just enjoying the day. Angela, have hmm? you heard the new number one hit song? I think it's called something like Dance, Dance, Don't Stop Dancing. Ha, huh, nice try, guys. No, I heard it too. Really? Not, not, not that I listen to that type of music, hmm. but just go to any website on the entire internet and it'll probably just start playing. Are you kidding? Dance, dance, dance don't, don't stop dancing. dancing. No. Dance, dance, don't huh? you dare stop oh. dancing. Don't you stop. Too easy. Looks like it's just you and me now. Partner? Yeah. Partner. <laughs> what is he doing? 
doing? He's winning this contest. That's what he's doing. Get him, Tom. That's what I'm talking about. Huh? What was that? That was my phone. It must have an update available. And it sends a notification. I don't care. That was my computer. It must also have an update available. <laughs> Good. No big deal. Huh? Wait, wh what was that? That was the microwave. It has a burrito update for my mouth. Ah, I can't take this anymore. Must update everything. <laughs> my dear sweet technology. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll never leave you again. I promise. <laughs> Congrats, Tom. I guess when it comes to surviving without technology, you are the strongest. <gasps> Tom? He shoots. It's up. It's good! Woo! I mean, what? Hey, where'd Ben go? Oh, hey, I won. Yippee! Wait a second. <laughs> hey, I was listening to that. I mean, hey, what is that? You've been listening to a basketball game this whole time? Hey, what? Uh, what? You uh, cheated, which means I won. Floppy Disk Island, here I come. But now excuse me while I pack. Let's see. Laptop, check. Tablet, check. Cell phone, oh. check. Oh. Backup cell phone, mm -hmm. check. Yes. Bye-bye, friends. Mm -hmm. And cheater, I'm off to celebrate my victory at mm -hmm. Floppy Disk Island. Uh, hey, Ben. Later. But the letter says, be sure to bring the following. Candles, a hammock, a wooden club, flint, and steel. Uh-oh. I think Ben forgot some important things. Like what? Unpopular Science Magazine invites you to the No Technology Party. Join us in remembering the past with no electronics. Tom, how could you not mention that? Well, I... I, I kind of skimmed parts of it. Yeah, it's a very long letter. Great! I love these silence as golden earplugs! What? I can't hear you. I'm wearing these stupid earplugs. What did you say? What? Help! Help! Someone please help! Pretty please help! I'm too young to go splat! Hey, can we take these off now? What did you say? Huh? Can't hold on much longer! <laughs> Sour, I'll pick you up at eight. And open. <laughs> Dad, you are one smooth talking daddy. Ah, give me the remote! Hurry! Pajama pals is on! No can do, little bud. Cause this is a special hour-long Dad the Dentist. Dad is unsure if he wants a date with Sally after he finds out she only has three wisdom teeth. Sorry, but oldest gets to decide what's on TV. It's the law. What law? That's not a law, and I know about laws. Now give me the remote. Give it. Give it. Pajama. Pal. Pajama. One day you'll thank me, Ginger. Disappointment builds character. I remember the time I unwrapped a hamburger and there was only a bun. That moment helped shape the man I am today. Well Ah, oh, good kid. Hank will pay for crossing the Ginger Avenger! I have here every prank I've ever thought up. 
No, that one needs a pie and an angry donkey. Too subtle. Oh, wait, I don't have an active volcano. Ooh, this will be perfect. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hi, Ginger. Want a signature sandwich? This one is side bed. Hi. Last week, I found one with the name Hands Off. Must be Swedish. What was that voice? Is someone there? I don't hear anyone. <gasps> Hank, is that you? You know imaginary friends aren't supposed to appear on their own. Huh? I'm not imaginary. And imaginary friends definitely aren't supposed to say they're not imaginary. I think you should learn what imaginary means. It means you came from my head. <laughs> Ginger, that's not where we come from. I won't say right now, but spoiler alert, it involves a bird and a bee. And maybe a bear? <gasps> Hank, where'd you go? Come on, don't be mad. D I'm right here. Boy, you wouldn't believe what just happened. Ginger said I was imaginary and wouldn't exist if it wasn't for him. Can you believe that? Tom? Tom. Hey, Ben, find any good molecules lately? Tom? Ben? Imaginary. I don't think so. I can make you do anything I want. And right now, I want you to think about pink elephants. See, you're wrong, because the last thing I'm gonna do is... <gasps> I am thinking about pink elephants. On stilts. Now they're on stilts. Juggling watermelons. Why are they so talented? And now, I'm gonna make you breathe. Uh-uh, no way. <gasps> <laughs> that doesn't prove anything. If you're not imaginary, why don't you have a job like a real person? <clears throat> and when was the last time you got mail? Uh, well, I don't know. <sighs> Tom, Tom, Tom. Ooh, current resident. That kind of counts. No, it doesn't. Angela, is it possible I'm Ginger's imaginary friend? Uh, are you for real? No! Oh! And now, back to Mike and his mustache. <laughs> oh, Mike, why did you grow that awful mustache? <laughs> Listen, Tunch, Mike didn't grow me, I grew him. Uh, uh, uh. Imaginary friends don't get to decide. What's on TV? Well, if I am Ginger's imaginary friend, I'm going to be the best imaginary friend ever. Who's your imaginary friend? Is it a dragon, a pirate, or a guy named Hank? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Better shot than my favorite TV pirate, Long John Silverspoon. He's on Who Wants to Arg. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> this will be good. But that's Angela. I think you mean soaking wet, Angela. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best. Did you hear her? Hold on! 
spot. Don't worry. Hold me up! Oh, no. What am I thinking? Ginger, I'm just imaginary. You need someone real. Wait, what? You'll just slip through my imaginary hand. No, I won't. Pinky swear. Pink, please help. <laughs> I am so sorry, Ginger. No. I'm so sorry. <laughs> What? Pig, you are real. I was being bad. I was playing a joke. Really? I was just mad about pajama piles. I made a mistake. Oh, this is just like that episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy when Bongo was convinced he was a toaster. Ginger! Ah! No! Oh, I cannot believe this, Tom. Can you see how wet I am? Somebody's up here. Angela, wait! I couldn't... Did you hear what she said? I couldn't hear what she said! These ear things made me miss what Angela said. No! I ate already! So what? She could have said anything! Like, what if she said, Tom, I get so angry when I think of us not being together! Or, Tom, I am madly, madly in love with you! That, that's it! No more earplugs. Caution, do not eat Ginger's leg. This is a cast, not a signature sandwich. Ginger, I hope you learned a lesson from all this. I did. Like what? Uh, like you should only throw water balloons from flat rooftops? What lesson did you learn? Me? Well, I guess I learned how much I care about you, and even though you tricked me into being your imaginary friend, you could always imagine me as your real friend. For real. All right, buddy. You pick the show. Um, I want to watch this. Dad the Dentist? When did you become a fan of Dad the Dentist? No, let's just watch your dumb show. Here's a question for you, Sally. Which is more valuable? <sighs> money like <sighs> from the Tooth Fairy or friendship like from Dan the Dentist? Not once <gasps> for money or rinse and spit for friendship. <laughs> Super. I thought you'd say that. Open. <laughs> Rinse and spit, Dad. Rinse and spit. Serious. He wants to infect us all. 